Previously on Fallout 3. See, Dad, this is what I've become. Aren't you proud of me, Dad? Are you actually gonna follow now? Holy crap. Alright, Dogmeat's back on the team. We lost Clover. Um, which actually kind of sucks. She was carrying some good gear. Kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Um... What? You seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Are you fucking shitting? Time to hunt down this bulimic bitch. <laughs> I have a boner. The Skella Man. That's the two L's. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phoenix Jade, and I approve of this badassery. Okay, I've been looking around. Is this really... Are we done? Or what? Let's see. Hold on. Clear Project Purity. I figured that would, like, show us complete if we killed them all. Right? I already rated that, apparently. Alright, let's look at a local map. No one ever looks at local maps. Okay, so there's the rotunda. We already checked that. We checked the sub-basement. Maybe we need to go to that pump control. I mean, I don't remember if I cut that out of the last episode or not, but I know I walked over there and had a little look-see. Oh god, that turned the lights off. Okay. Hm. Alright, fine. Dog me. How'd the... Dog, stop hiding in pipes. At least there's, like, an object marking each section of the pipe. Okay, this takes us to the Capital Wasteland. Apparently. A little bit of a frame drop. And that requires a key. Alright. Cool. Well, that basically settles it. We just need to go out and talk to the old guy and see if... Ah, <sighs> see if he'll come inside. See if this is good enough. We killed everything. Unless there was something else in the sub-basement. Which I guess is all entirely possible. Hey. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? Apparently not. Alright, we'll stay here then. Do what you have Son to. Son of a bitch. Hey there. Shut up. Hey. Alright, it has to be in the sub-basement. We had to miss something. Guys, this mission sucks dick. I wish it would thunderstorm again so I'd have to cut the episode short. That'd be great. I would really like that. Oh. Hi. Please say that wasn't the only one. We just missed one. Apparently not. Dog meat! Oh, god damn it. Alright, never mind dog meat. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> Why didn't he just attack with the rest of the mutants? The other ones piled up on the staircase for us. That guy? Nope. Nope. He's just gonna chill. What? Was there something in there? Those look like, uh, test tubes, so not really something we're interested in. See, look at these. They just piled the fuck up. This is a disgusting blob of mutant flesh. I've seen a lot of grotesque things, but that... This is by far one of the most atrocious, repulsive piles of organic mass I've ever seen. Hey, Dad. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? I ran the body count through the calculator and I got the answer, you're a dick. I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. So what's the big deal about water, anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding. Starting over. <sighs> oh, that was really boring. <sighs> anyway, how did Mom die? Like, really? Amanda's always feeding me some bullshit stories. What's, what's the truth? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, 
to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Well, that's great. That's great. So, are you supposed to be making me feel guilty about killing her? Because I got over that a few years ago, and you're just kind of bringing that guilt back. Why couldn't you say she hated my guts? Then I might actually feel good about killing the bitch. I am so sorry, Mom. So, can we talk for a minute longer? Of course, son. What's on your mind? So why'd you fucking ditch me like that? Seriously, dick. I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Why would you put yourself at risk like this? Do you have some sort of a death wish? Because if you do, uh, I've learned a lot of techniques out here. You know, killing people. What? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. Yeah, whatever. I hope that you can understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my son. Hey there. You can go inside with the rest of them. Okay. Another day in the wasteland. We really gotta... You gotta find some new catchphrases, man. Alright, Team Beefy, let's go. Don't get in my face like that. Let's go and follow the nerds. Hello. Holy shit. Garza. Right in my face. That was scary. Oh god. Okay, everyone. Space. Yeah, okay, Dad's got it figured out. Uh, next, you. who are you? Dr. Lee. Yeah, you go next. Um, Amanda. Your turn. Okay, no, I said Amanda, not you, Janice. You're just kind of you're making it worse. Oh. Oh, never mind. Um, Billy, that. Oh, Dad, what happened to you? Oh. <laughs> it's a joke. Get it? Because I hate you. Is everything. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21 6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. All right, what do? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated uh -huh. here since then. Uh -huh. And there's uh -huh. been some flooding. Flooding, got to the it. Flood control pumps. And flood the control pumps, got it. All right. Can't Amanda do it? In a word, no. Everyone else is specific. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, she's not very. She's not the smartest person. I got it. No, I understand. Yeah, sure. What do I need to do? The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use <laughs> the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Oh God! <laughs> Not even Dad likes you. You are such a worthless piece of shit. Dog meat. You are now my second. Sorry, Jericho. Hello. Sharon probably doesn't give a fuck, so I'm not gonna apologize to him. Okay, we took the long way around. Is everything wow, away? you knew us up, didn't you? Oh. Now it's not the time. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back. And I'll give you the fuses you'll need. You could have just... You really could have just given me the fuses before I came down here. Oh my god. I better not have to come right back down here. I'm gonna be so pissed off. And the worst thing is I really don't remember if I need to come back here or not. As I've stated before, I have played Fallout 3 a lot in the past. But I cannot remember if I need to come back down here. Alright, old man. I think we need to talk. Yeah? About what? I've been hearing things. Things that have happened out there. Cool. Megaton destroyed? You? 
You didn't have anything to do with that, did you? Oh, okay. So now, Mr. Deadbeat is going to give me a lecture on what's good and what's bad. That's cute. Is that how it's going to go down? What I did can't even compare to such a thing. All those people. <laughs> You're still my son, and I love you. But I can't begin to tell you how disappointed in you I am. We'll talk more about this when there's time. Right now, we have work to do. <laughs> Is this something about fuses? Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuse is under place, you'll be able to get to the main floor. What? Oh shit, I wasn't listening. Um, you know what, I'll just follow my magic compass. Be careful, my son. Yeah, stop saying that. And you don't care. I'm a disappointment, remember? Like father, like son, I guess. Damn it! I have to go back down. Why didn't he give me the fuses to begin with so I didn't... That idiot. He's being a dick. He's punishing me. That's what's going on right now, isn't it? Maybe I... Is it like... I put it on this? It's down there, isn't it? I gotta go down there. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, cheating, what? Because I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. I didn't want to do this whole situation. Okay. If the fuse is in place, you should be there able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room. Just head straight there. Oh, now you want me to just head right there. Okay. Uh, well, gonna melt through the floor ceiling a little bit. And boom. That saved time. That was great. Wow. How anticlimactic. Um beep. Just a few minutes until we can access the main frame. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Alright. Good luck, son. Yeah. By good luck, he means, uh... Wait. Maybe he meant that in kind of an ominous way. Good luck, son. He put a trap in there! Amanda, we gotta kill Dad before he kills us. Let's go. We can't let this. We can't let this go on. I was, of course, joking about the whole killing Dad thing. Just so you know, I'm not that stupid. I know he didn't put a trap down here. He's too much of a pussy. Oh God, this is a problem, guys. This is an enclosed space. I'm not normally claustrophobic, but with Sharon's bo and. Uh, Amanda being Amanda, I really don't want to get crammed into a human wad with you guys. Yeah, a human wad. I guess we just... What the hell? Um... Ah, oh, shit. It's locked. Ah, oh, but that's unlocked. So who's the, uh, in, in enclave? Or whatever. Or, oh, God. Uh, platforming in a Fallout game. I can't see shit. Okay. Ah, can you guys follow? You're gonna teleport down here. That's cool. You guys could tell me you had teleporters. That would have saved me a lot of time. And a toilet. Okay, there's just about everything in this pipe. 
It's a great collection of just random stuff. Guys, I can't see what's going on. Multiple reasons. You're in the way. One. This is a big one. Really, that's the most important one. I could stop there. But also, uh, the frame rate's kind of a problem. But you're definitely also in the way. Well, you were. What the? You know those grotesque, fucked up things that I was talking about earlier? Well, this is far more repugnant than that. I will be happy to not ever come back to this sub-basement again. I've been here way too many times. How many times have I been here? Because whatever number that is, that's how many times too much that I've been down here. Hey, fuck face. This facility is now under so, what's going on here? The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. Oh, shit. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. I'll do whatever you want. There's no oh, need for more violence. Down. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system online. Um. Enough of these delays. Nearly finished. Whoa. Run. Run. Do something. You've got to do something. Um. Uh. Oh shit. Uh, I'm on it. Hurry. Yeah. No problem. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the shish kebab's not doing it. It's really not doing it. Amanda. Amanda, stop. Amanda! Oh, God. Oh, that doesn't help. James. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. All right, step by step. What the hell just happened? James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us or else your father died in vain. All right, lead the way, wrinkly face. There's an old tunnel that will lead us out of here to someplace safe. We used it as an evacuation route once before, but that was a long time ago. I hope everyone remembers how to get there. There isn't time to round everyone up. Come on, follow me, and hurry! What are you doing just standing around? We've got to get in there! He's gone, Amanda. You don't know that. You don't know what he did. He may need our help right now. Yeah, I do know what he did, and he's not getting up from it. But he... he's... He did it to buy us time. We've got to go now. I... I can't argue with you right now. Just go. I'll be right behind you. Alright, Lee. Make it quick. Come on. You're moving too slow. Oh my god, she just vanished. Holy shit. We need to escape while we oh, can. Oh, look. 
Hey the gang's there. all here. Are we supposed to talk what to you? Don't wander off. We're going to need you. Uh, excuse me? You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us, and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. You're right. I am the only one here with combat experience. Uh, not Jericho, not Amanda, not Dogmeat, or freaking Sharon, the gargantuan ghoul. That's pretty good, actually. That's a superhero name for now on, the gargantuan ghoul. I like that. Anyway, there's a lot of us here that are actually pretty uh, adapted to combat situations. But yeah, sure. Uh, what do you need me to do, woman? We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you, alright? Let's get moving. Oh, there they are. Take him down. Well, got some good news out of all this, though. We have some brand new power armor. And I'm not sure if I saw a penis there or not. But I'm definitely seeing one now. Hey, Sharon. What do you need? Uh, the whole Riley Rangers getup is really cool. I really, really like it. Very well. But the thing is... I think you would be cooler if you were doing a whole enclave type getup. You know what I mean? Okay, well, you know, you got part of it. That's a start. Follow. That... Hmm. Well, no arguing with that guy. He'll, like, turn my arms off like a Wookiee. There we go. Fully repaired, and now you'll use it. Are you headbanging dog meat? Oh, look. I'll let them take care of that. Go down. We shouldn't be here. What? What the fuck are you talking about? How could you just leave him like that? We've been over this, Amanda. It's your fault. You should have done something. I didn't see you doing much. Fuck you. At least I care. At least I... <sighs> Just tell me there's something I can do. There's nothing to do. There never is. It sounds so empty when you say it like that. I... I think I need some time. <sighs> this is, um... We can't go any further. We need to stop. What? Why stop now? Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. We don't have time for this shit. Let's go. I said I will not leave him. Now look around for any sort of medical supplies. There must be something we can put to use. Maybe we should just leave him behind. He's slowing us down. Ever thought about that? Maybe you're right. Very well, I'll tell him, and then we'll continue. Let's make this Hello quick. Again. America the Magnificent. Jeez. This is President Eaton. And Everything I difficult. I can't keep up. I'm afraid I have to go on without you. Us but what will I do? You would leave me here alone? Garza, I'm sorry. We have to go now. Hey, I have to go now. I have to go now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Alright team. I bought helmet. Yoink. You're taking that. You can, you can count on that. Someone's gonna wear it. Oh shit. Guys, we've seen our fair share of ghouls and enclave in this tunnel. Passage. Um and these walkways, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Makes me wonder if there's anything else to expect. Maybe, uh, ants. We've dealt with ants before. Hopefully not fire-breathing ones, though. I really, I don't need that again. 
totally done with that. And there's one that thinks it's Spider-Man, not an ant. Uh, the ghoul. Wow. Really sucked to be that guy. And that guy. There's a Nuga-Cola Quantum over here. I gotta make sure I stop by and grab that. Alright, everyone. Brace yourselves. There's probably something behind this door. That's why I put my weapon away. Oh! You guys! That's great. It really is. This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get topside immediately. Eh, yeah, you heard the man. Topside immediately. Or was it a woman? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, you heard the brother hoodian? Hoodian. Hoodian. Brother Hoodlum! That's even better. That's a good insulting name for them. Brother Hoodlum. I like it. Am I rambling? I think I'm rambling. Holy shit. This episode must be almost over. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized civilians allowed inside the Citadel. You'll have to leave now. Lions! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! Holy you open fuck. this goddamn door right now! Lee! You did something cool! Hey look, that's where we were. <laughs> Remember dad was standing over there and then he died. Not right there, of course. I guess you would remember though, you're kind of traumatized by it. We can't stop now, we need to keep going. Quest completed the waters of life. Wow. I know dog, I'm happy too. Should we end the episode here, dog meat? Okay. Dog meat said we should end the episode here. And save what's beyond that door for when the uh the the, the next episode starts. How about that? Cool. Wow, dude. For a cripple he can really move. <laughs>